Boom, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna learn how we can replace an object in our image. Pretty easy and this is the easier way because there's really not a perspective change on what we're gonna replace today. We're gonna replace this image here and maybe this one too if you have time. So this here is how this image looked when I got it off of stock. That's how it looks. So probably use this for a couple of more uh, tutorials just to show you how you can turn on lights and uh, change the perspective as well here very slightly. So this is the image I came up with and I'm pretty sure this is a 3D rendered. It's not an actual photograph. It, it looks 3D rendered to me, but I don't know. Okay. So, if you like this tutorial, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And I'm going to try and post at least once a month, because I'm just swamped at work, and it's in my real daytime job. And enough of that, I'm going to try and post at least once a month, and I thank you all for your support. Let's get to it. Okay, we're still here inside Affinity. I'm gonna reset it. So I'm just gonna go down here, put it there. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna zoom in here, Command Control Plus. And we're gonna change this. I'm gonna use the pen tool because on this one, I would just use the rectangular marquee tool and drag out, okay? Now we need to pay attention to this shadow line here as well. Is it P on your keyboard? And the closer in we zoom on this, the more precise we can be. And remember, it's always the best starting point is to have the best cutout as possible. So we just click and drag right there. Hold on Alt, you can move that. I'm going to go over to this end here. And if you, there we go. Hold on all to move, move the pointer here again, and then go back up into the corner. And then we're gonna go back over to this corner. That's cool. We can control zero to zoom out. I'm gonna hit selection here. Now we can invert this selection one of two ways. We can either go up here to select, invert pixel selection, or control shift and I. I'm gonna use control shift I. Make sure you have that layer selected. Hit the mask button down here. Now you can see it's it's a hole there. Control D to deselect. Grab this one. I'm gonna just group it real quick. So we have it there. So now you can go mark that layer again and drag it up to where you want it. I'm going to do it sort of like this and then just extend down a little bit. It's perfect. Now you can see that this image here, the brick, is technically going into this one. So you can undo that a couple of ways. Which is, uh, you can go back onto this here. Get your mask, hold down control and double click it. Go down to this image. Command Control I to invert it and then put on another mask and now it's contained to there. That's how one way you could do it. But now if you try to move this, you can see there's it's that's it. I'll show you a different way on this one how you can do it. Okay, so we got one done. Just go mark that one, add a new layer. Then we gotta go up here. Uh, I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool since we're going to use this on this image as well, but that's going to be the next episode. So zoom in. Remember again, it's all about the more accurate you do it, the better the outcome. I am not too accurate because I need to be fast here so you guys hopefully pay attention. So you watch my videos. I'm going to hit the fill bucket. I'm going to make sure I'm on black. Just hit fill. Now we have created the shadow, but you can see that does not look great. So 
mark that layer I'm gonna go over here and go down to soft light and we can now see that doesn't look a hundred percent either so stay on your pixel selection go up to filters blur and I'm gonna use Gaussian blur but you can also use box blur and around 18 pixels you can see that's no 100% that's nothing so around 18 to 20 is where I found on this particular image that works it still gives you a distinguishable uh, shadow so that's the first image done or the first replacement how you can quick and easily replace an object in uh, Affinity Photo. If you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below and I'll see you all next time.